my name is Luke and this is my 1978 Volkswagen Westphalia. In the summer before I bought the bus, me and my girlfriend went out east coast for a couple weeks and we absolutely loved it. Living out of a vehicle like this is a different experience. My dad gave me a call and told me that he found a bus in Welland, Ontario. It needed some bodywork, clearly, and he got it for a pretty cheap price and I knew that I was ready to learn how to restore a vehicle like that. When we first opened up the bus, the engine was sitting right here in the back seat. So it sat outside for the most of the body restoration of it and we brought it in a few months in and tore it all apart and my dad taught me how to rebuild an engine. He had never done it before and we learned pretty much right off of YouTube videos. We didn't completely crack the block open. He just replaced all the pistons and uh, the piston heads. It took us like two hours to put it in the bus after the bus was all ready and painted. And after that, we got the batteries hooked up and had the electrical finished up. And maybe a week later, we had it running and driving down the road. The hardest part of the restoration would have probably been trying to weld up the new body pieces and cutting out what was rust and trying to make it fit right. It took me maybe a week just to do one small panel. It was my first time welding ever, and the first time I started it up was on the front dog leg, and we were just practicing. And I screwed it up a couple times, but I grinded it off and kept trying, and I got it over. And I did the whole entire bus after that, and it took me nine months. The pop-up tent was in pretty good shape, but I didn't want to have a fully restored bus with a slightly faded and obviously original top tent. So I replaced that too and it took about a whole weekend with me and my dad and we used staples and it, a lot of swear words. We found out very soon that some of the engine tin was missing so we had to get some of that replaced or else the engine would overheat without the air moving over the engine since it's an air-cooled engine. The original color that the bus was painted was called Dakota Beige and that's a really boring color in my opinion and that's someone who has a bus but doesn't want anyone to know they have a bus and I wanted a color that would pop and would be unique and a lot different at the car shows and I show up to a car show in this and I'd, it would be 200 buses and I would have the only one this color. I saw a couple inspirations on Instagram about having maps on the headliner of the bus and I sprayed it with spray glue and stuck some maps on and put it up when I built it and it hasn't really held up very well and a lot of them are starting to sag and I'm just stapling them back up but that was something I would definitely want to fix and I kind of want to just get a clean vinyl headliner. It might be a little bit more boring but it would hold up in the long run. I named it Franklin after my childhood TV show and child book. My favorite character is the turtle, and I have a couple stickers and stuff. Because his dad's uh, other bus was named Slow Pokey, also from a, a childhood show, and because he's slow, and we're like, okay, we need to find something similar to that that's kind of creative. Yeah, Franklin, slow like a turtle, turtle, slow. I'll probably have this bus till the day I die or die in it. I don't know. There's no airbags or anything, so. 